Hello folks and welcome to video number 149. This video is on angle facts. Keywords I've got for you are isosceles and quadrilateral. An isosceles is a, a shape where the two base angles are the same. Now we refer to isosceles triangles quite frequently. Don't often um, talk about isosceles trapeziums, uh, but they exist as well. So the two base angles in an isosceles trapezium will be the same. Um, a quadrilateral is a four-sided shape. Um, there are some basic angle facts that you will need to learn in order to be able to solve more co complicated um, angle problems. These are the angle facts in this box. Angles in a triangle, 180 degrees. On a straight line, 180 degrees. In quadrilaterals, 360. Round a point, 360. And then vertically opposite angles are equal um, and base angles of isosceles are equal. So use these facts to find the missing angles by adding up what you do know, what you're given in the question, and then using subtraction from the particular number that you know, the, the angle fact that you've got in your head. All right, so um, that's most of the time anyway. Question one, A, we're not actually doing that particular thing. What we're doing is looking at each one of those three angles is exactly the same. Um, so what we're doing is we're taking 180 and we're dividing it by three. That's the calculation we're doing there because each one of those angles is X and that's on a straight line. Those three angles join together on the straight line. OK, therefore, we're dividing 180 by three to get the answer to that particular problem, which is pretty simple because you just take the 18 and divide by three, you get six. All right. So 180 divided by three is 60 degrees. So X equals 60 degrees in that particular first problem. B, the one below it. This one is a 90 degree angle. You can see there's a, a little uh, 90 degree angle notation there. OK, so that's a 90 degrees with 55 of the 90 there. So um, if we add on um, 35 degrees, we would get 90 degrees. So 90 minus 55 is equal to 35. OK, therefore, X equals 35 degrees in that particular example. Um, this one is uh, these two angles added together and then take away from 180. So the first thing you can get a couple of marks for these questions. You get one mark for getting the adding bit right and then one mark for getting the taking away bit right. So that's 123 and then 180 minus the 123 um, is equal to, well, if you're not sure, you can use column method of subtraction. So take away uh, 10, so that becomes a 7. 10 take away 3 is 7. 7 take away 2 is 5. 1 take away 1 is nothing. So X in that question is 57 degrees. Um, and then this one, this is what I was talking about earlier. You've got an isosceles trapezium here. And I know it is because this length is the same as this length. These two lengths here mean that these two angles are going to be the same. OK, now this is a quadrilateral. You could do this one of two ways. You could know the um, two angles here because this is a parallel line and this is a parallel. Line. I've done a video on this yet, but this is coming pretty soon. Um, this this angle and this angle, what we call a C angle or an allied angles or supplementary angles, co-interior angles, whatever you want to call them. All right. We know they add up to 180. So that's going to be 85. All right. Um, that's one way of doing it. If you didn't know that, but you do now, but if you didn't know that, uh, you could just add that and that. All right. Add those together. Um, know that these two are going to be the same. Take whatever those adds up to um, away from 360 and then divide your answer by two. OK, but I think it's just easier to know that these two angles here will add up to um, 180 degrees because of these parallel lines here in the trapezium. All right. So X is equal to 85 in that instance, 85 degrees. All right. Now, moving on to question number two, something that looks slightly more complicated. We've got to find the size of and remember, this means angle ABC. OK, so it's the middle letter that we're interested. In. I've done a video on that if you're not sure. Go and have a look at the angle notation video that I've made. So you've got B um, in the middle. So we're looking at this angle here. I just shade it in. That's the one we're interested in. We want to give that one as our answer. OK, should I work and I give you reasons for each step of your working? Quite often they like you to give reasons. Um, for the angle facts are the reasons. All right. So um, this angle here is 36 degrees at the top. And that's all we've been given right now. The one opposite it or vertically opposite it is also 36 okay so that's the first thing that we can do say a c b so angle angle a c b equals 36 degrees and then i like to put it in brackets just put vertically opposite 
all right uh, you could write vertically opposite angles are equal if you wanted to but vertically opposite will do because we've we've shown that it's equal by saying that it's 36 degrees um, and then what we've got down the bottom here and this these two angles well they're the same and that's because ABC is an isosceles triangle okay so um, angle um, a B C is the one we're after a B C is equal to now we'll just do our calculation here we'll take away the 36 from 180 so that is um, 144 um, and 144 degrees divided by 2 well, 140 would be uh, divided by 2 would be 70 and 4 would be 2 so 72 degrees is what angle ABC is and the reason for it being 72 degrees we can mark it in the diagram as well they like you to do that um, the reason is because ABC is an isosceles triangle okay so we just write that isosceles triangle that's the angle fact that we've used there um, and we're also implying that we we do know that the angles inside a triangle are up to 180 degrees there as well all right we're being specific and saying that it's an isosceles triangle abc is all right so there you go there's our answer to that particular question right now i'm just going to have a little look at the third one now below is a kite to calculate the size of angle x again so what we have to understand here is that a kite is a quadrilateral one of our quadrilaterals that we have to remember and learn some of the properties about now this um particular quadrilateral has uh, these two angles that I'm indicating here, if I just shade this one in and this one in, these two angles are going to be the same as each other. They're always going to be the same. All right. That's an isosceles triangle. That's a different isosceles triangle. If you were to split it in half like that, uh, or not in half, into two triangles like that. Um, and yeah, this this angle and this angle are always going to be equal to each other. All right. And we also have to remember that the uh, angles inside a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. So this is the extension of one of the sides of the kite. This is the interior angle. This is what we refer to as the exterior angle. And these two angles will always add up to 180 degrees because it's on a straight line. OK, so that angle there inside would be 110 degrees. OK, that would also be 110 degrees. It doesn't say we have to give reasons for answers. Uh, in this particular problem um, but if we did we'd say angles on a straight line and then we'd say opposite angles in uh, the kite or kite has one set of opposite angles that are equal um, and then what we do is take 360 so add these three angles up so 100 200 300 10 25 so 325 is what we get if we add them up and take away from 360 so that's the calculation that I'm going to do here and nick that that becomes five five take away two is three three take away that is nothing so 35 degrees so x is equal to 35 degrees okay so it's all about knowing those facts that i've put in the box if you can remember those facts and there's only one that i haven't gone through there as, as an example which is angles around the point uh the rest i've given you in um various different guises um yeah remember those facts and you'll be fine all right you'll be able to figure things out if you've got a calculator even better all right you won't make any mistakes with adding or subtracting all right so thanks for watching this one i hope you enjoyed it i hope it makes sense please practice by clicking the link in the description take care of yourselves bye bye